Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to play with the Dose of Colors and I Love Sari collaboration collection. I was really excited to play with this collection just because I know I Love Sari has a really nice taste uh, when it comes to makeup and Dose of Colors always has really nice products. So I was really excited to play with this and I really like how this look uh, turned out. Also I'm wearing braces <laughs> if you haven't noticed yet. A few videos back I already announced that I was going to wear braces. Um, I was really nervous, um, not really like a few weeks up front, but the day before I just started realizing like, oh my god, I'm going to wear braces. And then when they um, placed the braces, I was so insecure. Uh, when I came home, I cried. Um, I just felt like it really changed my face. My mouth just looks really different. Also, I when I use words with the letter S, I just sliss. So I really had to get used to it. It just made me really insecure. Now that I'm wearing it for more than a week, I'm starting to get used to it and I'm just trying to accept it. Um, I know at the end of wearing this, I will have really nice teeth. So it's not for nothing. But I do feel like it does make me really insecure, but hopefully over time it will get better and better. But yeah, let's dive into this video. I hope you guys will enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids. I'll be using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Um, this is my favorite eyeshadow primer. I'm using it now for a few years and I'm still really liking it. And after applying this, I'm going to apply a little bit of powder on top of it just to lock it in place. So for today's video, I was playing with the Dose of Colors and I Love Sarai collection. Um, recently, like when I Love Sarai did a collaboration with Colourpop, I really liked her products. So I already knew I was going to like this. I just knew she wasn't going to fail. So I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette and I'm starting with this light brown peachy color. I'm just going to blend this all over my crease using a Sigma E40 brush. Now for the next step, I'm taking this darker brown color with a very orangey red undertone. Such a gorgeous shade. This will make any eye color pop out. So I'm going to blend this in my crease as well. Also trying to create like a sort of round smoke effect at the outer V area. Um, so I'm going to blend it over there as well, but also really focusing all over in my crease. Then I'm taking the Sigma Beauty Wicked Gel Eyeliner and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelids. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to create today. Um, I felt like if I was going to use the blue eyeshadow it would be too simple or you guys would probably expect it if you see the eyeshadow palette. So I wanted to use the black eyeshadow that comes in the palette which has a very gorgeous subtle glitter. So for the base of the black eyeshadow I wanted to use this gel eyeliner just to make it extra black and smoky. So if you do this, make sure you don't apply too much of the gel eyeliner. This way you can kind of fade it upwards towards your crease. So now I'm taking this black eyeshadow, which is just a single eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. I'm going to blend this a little bit around the edges. I could use the black eyeshadow from the palette from those of colors as well. But since this contains a glitter, I just wanted to keep it like completely matte around the crease area. And then to make sure that it's blended out even more, I'm going back in with that brown color. I'm just going to blend it one more time around the edges to make sure that it looks as blended as possible. I always go back in with a lighter shade as what I have in my crease, just to make sure that it looks as blended as possible. I feel like you can never blend enough, so just to do this, it's just a tip. <laughs> now I'm taking that black eyeshadow with that gorgeous sparkle, and I apply this using a MAC 242 brush. 
Later, I kind of noticed that using my finger would probably be more easier. You can start off with a brush just to be really careful. And now you can see that sparkle. I felt like I made some pictures for my Instagram and it didn't really show up, unfortunately. Um, but in this video, you can clearly see these sparkles and I think it's so beautiful. So I'm really happy I chose this black eyeshadow instead of the blue eyeshadow. Now I'm going to wipe away all the fallout below my eye just to make sure that it's clean for my foundation. So the first thing I'm going to do is use this Vitamin Rich Face Base, uh, which is from Bobbi Brown, uh, my absolute favorite face cream. I'm going to quickly apply this all over my face. So now to prime my face, I'm going to use this new primer from Tarte Cosmetics. It's called the Hydrating Primer and the name is Quench. Haven't used this before, so I'm going to use it right now. I just want some hydration and this is called the Hydration Primer. So let's see how it works. For my foundation, I'll be using the NARS Cosmetics Radiant Longwear Foundation, one of my absolute favorite foundations. I think it's really nice full coverage, but also it really makes your skin look nice and dewy. And then I have this Longwear Foundation from, well it's not called Longwear, it's the All Nighter Foundation from Urban Decay. That one is also one of my favorites. Those two, I can't live without them. But today I want to have more of a dewy skin, so I'm going in with the NARS Radiant Longwear. And the shade I'm using is called Stromboli. Then for my concealer, I'm taking the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. Applying this underneath my eyes, on my forehead, a little bit on my chin, and also a little bit on my nose. And then I'm going to blend this in using my Beauty Blender. Then to warm up my forehead, I'm taking the Tarte Cosmetics Shade Tip Concealer in the color Rich. And I'm going to apply a few dots on my forehead and then blending this in using my Beauty Blender as well. Now to set my concealer, I'm taking the Shade and Light Palette from Kat Von D and I'm going in with this shade and that one. I'm going to set all the places where I just applied concealer. Picking this black pencil from the Balm Cosmetics, which is called the Mr. Right pencil, and this is the black one. So I'm going to apply this all over my waterline just to make it extra black and smoky. I know I do a lot of smoky eyes lately where I use black in my waterline. If you prefer me to do more like softer looks with a neutral waterline, <laughs> let me know in the comments. But for this look, I just felt like um, a smoky eye needs a black waterline. So then I use some black eyeshadow underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm taking the darker brown color, which I used in my crease as well, just to blend out and smoke out that lower lash line. If you recreate this and you feel like you need a little bit more of the black eyeshadow, you can always go back in with the black eyeshadow to make it more black. Now I applied my lashes and mascara off camera. I'll put the names of the products I used in the description bar, just in case you're curious. And here you can see the end result with the eyelashes on. So now that my eyes are finished, the first thing I'm going to do is line my lips. I'll be using the Strip Down Lip Pencil from MAC Cosmetics and I'm going to slightly overdraw my lips. So for my lips, I wanted to use one of the new liquid lipsticks from Dose of Colors and I Love Sari. Um, but I think I'm going for the lip gloss which is called barely there it's just a really gorgeous nude color and i think it will suit really well with this smoky eye i think this shade is so gorgeous it kind of reminds me of a lip gloss of anastasia beverly hills which i think is called undressed um, i live for those colors it's like super nude but not too nude i think it's really gorgeous also, when I look at myself, I feel really weird because this is the first time that I'm wearing like a full face of makeup um, since I'm wearing braces. It's now a week ago um, and I just noticed that every time I'm just trying to really keep my makeup soft. Also, I feel like when I'm wearing earrings that it's just like too much. I feel like the braces on its own are like an accessory. And for example, my eyes are really dramatic right now. Um, I have my braces and if i would also wear earrings it's just too much 
so I really need to try to like how to work with my braces. If you have any tips, just let me know. Maybe I can do like a dedicated video where I just give you guys some tips on how I deal with it. Um, just let me know in the comments. So now for my next tip, I'm going to contour my face. I'm using this Oscar bronzer from The Balm Cosmetics. I really like this one. I'm going to apply this on the cheekbones to really carve them out. I think it's just a really natural color. It's not too ashy, not too warm. I really like this for my cheekbones. And now to warm up my complexion even more, I'm going to use this medium deep mineralized powder from MAC Cosmetics. I'm just blending this on top of my cheekbones to warm it up. Also on my forehead. Also, I don't think I've shown this on camera yet. I got my hair um, a little bit different. They cut a few layers at the front of my hair and I'm really liking it. It just gives me a little bit more volume. Normally it would be like one length and I didn't really like how that looked. So now I just have a little bit more volume, which is nice. So now it's time for highlighter. I'm really excited because I Love Sorry came out with two highlighters. And I remember when Desi and Katie did a collaboration with those of colors. Their highlighters were just amazing. So I'm really excited to try these out. Um, they launched two shades. One of them is called Bet. Bait. Not sure how to pronounce that. And the other one is called Soulmate. So I think the shade Butt is a little bit more cool toned and the shade Soulmate is a little bit more warm toned. So I'm going for the shade Soulmate because I think it suits my face color a little bit more. I'm taking this Morphe brush which is called the R36. Just dipping it in. Ooh. That's gorgeous. I think the highlighter is really gorgeous. It turned out a little bit lighter than I expected. It really fades into the skin and makes your skin just look wet. So now to finish it all off, I'm going to use this blush from Rimmel, which is called Sweet Cheeks. Using a Bobbi Brown powder brush and just applying a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. This is a really gorgeous peachy color, which I think will suit really nice with the eyes. So the last thing I'm going to do just to finish it all off is use this spray from Urban Decay. It's called the D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. I used this when I was on holiday because, oh my god, my skin was so freaking oily. So I bought this at a makeup store and I used it and it definitely helped. Uh, at this moment, I'm really sweating over here. It's very hot outside. I have all these lights on me so I can really use a little bit of this oil control spray. So I'm just going to use this towel all over my hair um, because I don't want my hair to get greasy because of the spray. So I'm just going to cover up my hair a little bit. And now I'm going to spray. So this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I really enjoyed making it because I think the products I use are really beautiful. I really like the highlighter. I like the eyeshadows. I like the lip gloss. So I'm definitely going to use them more often. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Through the canals of the mindset I need